dying to count of a nigga. Nowadays the way some niggas be acting is wise to be packing no less than a mountain. Make them ship it rules when you pity on the court. If there's a ball, leave blood and rain, then the rain and bond it. Wanna swing and bring it? Better finish with the quickness. Alright, so uh I'll see your 45. And I'll raise you a promo and uh instrumental full length. I see that. I raised you a Motown compilation. Alright. And a stack. Damn. That. Oh, what's going on? Deep crates here. Come on in. Didn't see you guys. Just a friendly game of poker here. My man Brooklyn. You might have seen him in some past episodes. You just missed the six million dollar man board game. We were playing it all night. Sometimes it can last longer than Monopoly. Yeah. But um, we're here today because I got a call from my man. It seems he came up on a little score on some uh, 45s. So we're going to take a look at what he got. And we'll go to him for more for the story. My man, Brooklyn. Oh, shit. What's going on, y'all? Uh, like, like my man Craig said, I gave him a call. I just happened to be in the record store down in my local area. And uh, a man and his wife walked in with a box. And when you see someone walk with a box in a record store, and you're a fiend, you start, you know, you start looking. He went to the guy at the counter. I know the guy at the counter very well. And he asked him, you want to buy these guys? said, no, I don't make money off 45s. <laughs> so I laughed to myself. And I kindly, you know, just walked out the door and followed the couple and said, yo, how much do you want for the box of records? The guy said, I just want $10. $10? So I said, all right. Just, I didn't even know what was in there. I, he sold me a whole box of 45s. I said, for $10, how could you go wrong? You can't go wrong. There's over 1,000 45s in there. I said, all right. Well, guy, he started telling me about himself. He was an autistic black guy from Philadelphia. Listened to soul his whole life. He was an older man. So he had all the funk from the 60s, 70s, you know? I gave him 15 bucks. Told him, you know, thank you. What a nice guy. I get home, I start busting out rare friggin', you know, um, uh, James Brown's, uh, Lynn Collins. I got all kinds of soul funk breaks. Anything, everything he was looking for. I got the Impeach the President on Alga. I got. But this Same, guy had man. it. This guy had it. Whatever you guys said, he had it. Word, let's see some of them joints. For you at home, this is a special treat here. We're gonna this, show you some gems. This 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 here is just a little something I kept to the side that I've been listening to every now and then. I know I know all y'all heard of soul. This is soul. That's a that's a hard to get joint right there. I'm I do not I don't care who you are and where you dig. You don't come up on that every day. Johnny Griffith Inc. That's, come on man, this is heat. Grand Central Shuttle. Come on man, what do we got here? We got Floyd Smith. Floyd. Soul Strut. That's Leon Silvers. The Meters. Josie, we talked about Josie in the previous crate show. If you're paying attention, you might have picked that up. Lynn Collins, you need to think. You need to think. Lynn Collins. Plus. You need to think. Plus. The ill red adapter <clears throat> ring. The movement. That's some that's some molecule record. Early eighties funk boogie shit. That's off the hook right there. Private press. Y'all need to look for that. The molecule. Oh. Um, the beginning of the end. Come on. Austin. You know, I get down, I'm a big Latin collector for all y'all don't know. That's some Latin joints. Ooh. Caliente. Some fruco. We got some fruco. We got Waganda Kenya. For all y'all know about the Colombian and be collecting them breaks. That, that's, that's a definite treat. Word up to all my uh, South American, Central American friends and viewers, Fernando yeah. Fury. O OG Alvin Cash in Augusta. That's that break right there. Toddlin Town. That's that shit you was cutting up, you was telling me about. Yeah. Q 
Keep that, on dancing. That's got the instrumental. If you've seen the Strange Dirty Burish uh, dance finals between Turtle Hands and myself, this is a song that's being cut up furiously by uh, none other than the avid record collector on the dance final video. That's what's up with that. We got Rufus Thomas, do the funky penguin. Mm -mm -mm. Stacks. We've talked about it. If you've slept, you've slept. I can't help Come you. Come on. Go on with your bad self. The Consumer Report. I dare y'all to find that. I dare you to find it. Consumer Rap Port. Alright. I got so much trouble on my mind because I got so many records. Joe Quartermain and Free Soul. That's ridiculous. I dare. I challenge you to... Put it up, put it up. GSF records. Put it up. Put them on the glass, as they say West Coast. Come on, you're faking the funk. Honey and the bees. What about me? Josie, I, I've told you people. Listen, I even got some French stuff off the dude. Those are some, that's, that's, that's some crazy French breaks. You need to learn about mm. that. The emotions, Blind Alley. We all know what that is. Mm, mm. Big Daddy's break, right? Vault Records. Come on. Yo, dude even had the cantaloupe, the Us 3. Come on. Blue Note, cantaloupe. He was hip on that. Yo, the Jungle Fever. That's that break, man. Um, we got some Billy Stewart. Yo, that's some good soul. For all y'all don't Chess know Records. Billy Stewart. This is the DJ copy, by the way, so if you're not a DJ, you cannot own that. Ah. James Brown, the old King label. Might I add, all these records are super duper clean to get heat off them. This, now, this is a treat. This, I showed this to Craze. This is the opening to my, sh my show. Hmm. That coming I soon. On, coming soon. A little spin off. A new life in Brooklyn. Brooklyn Union Gas. Crazy Hard Private Press, Willie Strickland produced. Look for the name. And can we show our viewers the lovely box, psychedelic rock box? That's how we get down. We've talked about the turntables, we talk about records, we've made record bowls. Another favorite thing I like to do is find nice mint condition record boxes like this one, especially to keep some dope 45s. This one's in super great condition. Steven Denise, 226, 1972. You can't see it, but thanks a lot, Steve and Denise, because uh, thanks, Steve. Brooks keeping some fresh 45s in his platter pack. That's a nice piece there. And if you don't know, Brooke is also a huge collector of action figures, which a lot of you diggers know we come across when we're digging. And uh, that's a whole other show. And like he said, in the future, New Life in Brooklyn is going to be coming out soon, so look for that. And as always, strangegibberish.net, free download will be up this month, September, end of the month. Look for me, Deep Crates, YouTube, Deep Crates 908, strangegibberish.net, myspace.com, backslash the record holder. Peace, I'm out.